Welcome back to the latest edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week, and welcome to Plays of the Week, Donovan Brady, who in his Muhlenberg debut struck out six in four and two-thirds innings, allowing only one earned run in the Muhl season opening win against Gwynedd Mercer. Oh, and Brady can also feel this position. Nice catch. At number 11, junior Spencer Duke on both ends of nice passes in the men's basketball win over Sinus, where he feeds Matt Ganias for the layup, and then later in the game, in transition, it's Duke receiving this pass from Dan Gaines for the layup. At number 10, men's across against Scranton, Alan Stoloff's shot is saved, but Ethan Grossman tips the ball, Stoloff hustles after the ball, passes it back to Grossman, and Grossman finishes for the score. At number 9, we've seen Evan Spano on Plays of the Week last year for his pitching prowess. How about his hitting prowess? Spano had a double and a triple and scored five runs in the Mules' 2-1 opening weekend. And playing second base, he also made this fine play, picking up the ball on the short hop and throwing out the runway first. At number 8, women's basketball against Bryn Mawr. The Mules on the break, it's Emily O'Mahony with the steal, and she does a give-and-go with Jalen Swan for the layup. At number seven, men's tennis against Swarthmore, nationally ranked Swarthmore, and it's the number two doubles team of senior Noah Selinger and junior Eli Taylor Kermit, posting an eight to four win, the Mule's first doubles win against Swarthmore since 2010. At number six, it's junior long stick midi Michael Fody scoring his first career goal in the men's lacrosse win against Scranton. Ethan Grossman's shot is saved, but Fody is right there to pick up the rebound and flip it into the goal. Yeah, yeah, At number five, it's a major milestone for senior Matt Ganias of the men's basketball team in the Mules playoff win against Washington College. And that is Matt Ganias' 1,000th career point. At number four, the school records in the weight throw continue to go higher and higher. Freshman Alec Ferenczi and Maria Rivera breaking the school records last week as the Mules teamed up for the Centennial Conference Championships. At number three, men's basketball at Gettysburg closing second, game tied. Dan Gaines misses the layup, Gettysburg gets the rebound, but on his way back down the court, Gaines tips the ball loose, comes out to senior Michael Morreale, who passes it back to Gaines. Gaines gets fouled with two tenths of a second remaining, and he hits both free throws. The Mules win 74-72. At number two, hit the ball far and just keep running. It's sophomore Ryan Abair for the baseball team against Gallaudet. Drives this one deep into the gap in right center and keeps running. Originally scored an inside the park home run. It was later changed to a triple and error, but it's still one run and it's still our number two play of the week. And our number one play of the week, men's lacrosse tied with Scranton, 258 remaining, and it's James Dalamonte scoring to give the Mules a 14 to 13 lead. Just 28 seconds later, it's Dalamonte again giving the Mules a 15-13 lead with this unassisted goal. And just 17 seconds after that, it's freshman Andrew Sokolowski off the faceoff. He will pass it to Ethan Grossman for another goal. Three goals in 45 seconds. Three in a row for the Mules. And the Mules win 16-13. It's our number one play of the week. Thanks for watching. Plays of the Week will be on spring break next week, but we'll be back in two weeks with more great plays. Go Mules!